Now we have already constructed a bridge over here where the uh, left hand side tap of the transformer is kept open and the right hand side tap of the transformer is being connected in the bridge. Now as we can see, uh, we'll first take a reading. First we'll take the AC reading. We'll see how much the transformer is uh, supplying. See the transformer is supplying 13 volt AC. Now this is a step down transformer. 230 volt AC is being stepped down to 13 volt AC. Now we'll see how much is being rectified and what is the output at the diode positive terminal. Now see we are getting 6 volt DC. Now this is direct current. So you can see in the multimeter this is the DC, this is direct current. Now alternating current is being converted into direct current. But now only half of the cycle is being rectified. That's why we are getting only half of the voltage. Though the voltage here at this terminal is 13 volt AC, what is happening is this part of the bridge is conducting only for the positive half, half cycle. The negative half cycle is being neglected because the diode will not allow the conduction in the reverse direction. So this will rectify only positive half cycle from this tapping. Now we have got this tapping left. We will connect this left tapping uh, in the circuit and we'll see what the output is. It's recommended to switch off the circuit while connecting this. I have connected both the tappings to the bridge. Now let's see what is the output. Definitely output will be DC. Now see we are getting almost twice the output as both the waves are being rectified. Now this could be explained as for first half of uh, as far as this upper tap is concerned, this would be conducting for the first positive cycle. When this step uh, will be in positive mode, this step will be in the negative half cycle. So we'll get approximately 6 volt in the first half cycle, direct current. Then the current will reverse its direction. So this step will be in the positive half cycle and this step will automatically go into negative half cycle. Then we'll get the next 6 volt so total output as the two outputs are uh, as the two emf are in series we will get the total output as 12 volt now we'll check the output here we will find half of the output almost so we will find the full output 11 volt this voltage loss is due to the potential drop across the bridge. Now let's see theoretically how the full wave rectifier works. Now as we all know, the alternating current is consists of cycles that is positive half cycle and it immediately reverses the direction and then it follows with negative half cycle. This is positive half cycle. Now for the first tapping 
when it will be in the positive half cycle this will be almost positive 6 volt for this negative half cycle this will be another 6 volt what happens practically when this central tap when this right hand tap sorry when this right hand tap is in the positive half cycle this diode this portion of the bridge would be conducting because this diode will not this diode will be conducting only in one direction the moment it reverses the current that it, it goes into the negative half cycle this diode will be not conducting it means the negative half cycle will be neglected or wasted away we can say so the total output DC output will get is 6 volt this will be direct current this is alternating current now as per the working principle of the transformer as far as the second tap is concerned when the uh, when the right hand side will be in the positive half cycle this second tap will be in the negative half cycle and when the right hand side tap will be in the negative half cycle this left hand side tap of the transformer will be in the positive half cycle so when this portion of the uh, this portion of the bridge is not conducting for the negative half cycle of this upper tap automatically at the same time this portion of the bridge would be conducting for the positive half cycle of this lower tap or we can say the left hand side tap this would again give positive 6 volt now as upper portion and the lower portion of the bridge are in parallel so the total output will be 10 volt And this is how the full wave rectifier works. As we are rectifying the full work, full wave, we are converting both the um, both the tappings, the output from the both the tappings into the uh, DC current. Hence, it is called as a full wave rectifier. This is how the full wave rectifier works.